everybody. I'm so excited to share with you a new recipe that Pamper Chef just came out with. So whether you are getting ready for a big game or you've been invited to a get together or you yourself are hosting a party, this dip is going to totally wow your guests. And a lot of the ingredients you probably already have in your refrigerator or your pantry. So it is, uh, it's called fried pickle dip. So if you love pickles, you are gonna love this dip. And it's so incredibly easy to put together. So the first thing that you need to do is we're gonna take, we used um, a can of refrigerated pizza crust. So the Pillsbury pizza crust in the tube. And I unrolled it on a flexible cutting mat. And then I made um, a melted butter with salt and fresh dill. And I wiped with the top. I, I used our basting brush. And I brushed the top of the pizza crust with the melted butter, salt, and dill mixture. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our pizza cutter. And we are just going to cut some strips of the pizza dough with our pizza cutter. Now, if you do not wanna use, you can use fresh dill or dry dill. You could also use a different type of seasoning, but because it's a pizza dip, they, we really wanna pull out those dill, uh, not pizza dip, pickle dip. We really wanna pull out those dill flavors. So we're going to make homemade breadsticks on our large bar pan, which is my favorite pizza stone ever. And this is part of our brand new Stone Fusion stoneware collection. And how I know it's part of the new Stone Fusion collection is this grid on the bottom of the bar pan. So this is, like I said, this, the large bar pan, it's one of my very favorite pieces of stone because it's super versatile. I can do everything on this large bar pan from pizza sticks to breadsticks to chicken cutlets. I can do brownies in here. I can do, I mean, you name it, French fries, roasted vegetables, potatoes. You could do pork chops, cookies. You can do everything on this large, large bar pan. So then what we're gonna do is after we, we cut these, so now we're just gonna twist these uh, pieces of dough and we're going to lay them on the bar pan, okay? Twist, 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 okay? We're gonna lay these on the bar pan. Now I also wanted to share a tip with you about um, using fresh or dried herbs. So I don't know if you know this, I did not know this until recently, that dried herbs are more potent than fresh herbs. So if you have dried dill, instead of using fresh dill, the ratio is one teaspoon of dried to a tablespoon of fresh. And this really is the rule of thumb for most herbs. So for example, if you wanted to use fresh basil versus dried basil, you would use for every, if the recipe called for two teaspoons of fresh basil, you would use two tablespoons of fresh basil. Okay, so there is one of our, our trays for our pizza dough, our, I'm sorry, breadsticks. And we're gonna pop these in the oven, 350 degrees for about 14 minutes. So we're gonna set our timer. Um, and this is Pampered Chef's newest timer that we just came back out with not so long ago. Whoops, it's going crazy on me. Come on. There we go, 14. Okay, so while our breadsticks are in the oven, I'll put this off to the side. Now we're gonna whip up the fried pickle dip. So we're gonna use uh, refrigerated 
dill pickles. And the recipe calls for a half a cup. And so all I did was I took about, it's about four to five spears of dill pickles. Um, and so I just put them in our Flex Plus food processor fitted with the multi-blade. This is the battery, the handle and the battery pack. And I put it on top. We got a, on the back is the safety button. And then we're going to put up the speed and we're going to roughly chop these pickles, as you can see. And now we're just going to take this off. We're gonna open up the lid. Okay. And we're going to add to our chopped pickles, we're going to add um, some cream cheese that I've already softened. It's supposed to be softened cream cheese. We're gonna put that right into the food processor of our multi-flex. The other functions of the multi-flex is a, um, it also can do mixing. So it comes with beater blades and it also can do emulsion blending. So we added uh, a brick of cream cheese, a half a cup of sour cream that I have right here in our measure all cup. Okay. And then we're going to add some more dill and two tablespoons of pickle juice. Okay. There's our two tablespoons of pickle juice and some dill. And I'm going to chop up our dill. So the recipe calls for two teaspoons of uh, dry dill and I'm using fresh dill because I prefer to use fresh herbs versus dried. So I'm actually just chopping with our kitchen shears our dill because I find that when I chop them like this in a small bowl, they don't get mushed on my cutting board. And I also can see approximately how much I have here. So I said I needed about two tablespoons of dill, and that is about two tablespoons of dill. We're gonna put that into the sink. And now we are going to close our lid here and put our handle back on and mix this up until it is blended. Just gonna give it a couple pulses until it's mixed. Pulse, pulse, pulse for about 30 to 40 seconds. And then we are going to put this into our, whoops, let's take this off. We're going to put this to the side. I already have our small cool and serve tray already with some carrots and some cucumbers that I crinkle cut it with um, our crinkle cutter or you can use our rapid prep mandolin fitted with the, the you can do the crinkle blade. Okay. So we're going to take out the blade here of our pickle dip, put that over here and now I'm just going to use our scraper and we're going to scrape out our dip and we're going to put it into the center of our well for the cool and serve. And what I love about the cool and serve trays is that it will keep this dip cold because of the cold pack that's underneath here. Whoops, let me show you by pulling out our veggies. This is the small tray. So this is a freezer pack and you can keep it in your freezer or you can pop it in the freezer several hours before you need to use it. And this pack is going to keep this dip cold for up to six hours. So you don't have to worry about the dip going bad if you're going, going to be outside. So I'm just gonna cover this and put this in the refrigerator so those flavors can marry until I'm ready to go to my party tonight. So. This is how easy, oh, you know what I forgot to show you is when you're serving the dip and it's time to serve, you're going to top it. Where's the fried come into play? You're going to top it with these delicious 
fried onions. Yum, I love these fried onions. So that is our pickle dip. I'm gonna actually give it a little bit of a taste. Okay, I'm gonna use, here, let's see. Oh my gosh, I love pickles, so good. And the dill isn't too strong, which is something that I love. And I can't wait for the breadsticks to come out and you can cut those up and use those to dip in as well. So super easy recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Bye, bye guys.